I picked up this uh, door alarm at uh, Lidl last week, um, just five euros. Um, it's a rather simple unit. It's a um, magnetic magnet activated switch. The, the magnet is attached to the door and uh, this would be um, attached next to the door. So whenever the magnet is removed, um, the um, piezo buzzer alarm here would, um, would screech. It's actually quite loud. Um, there's a switch at the top uh, to determine whether it is uh, time delayed, it's about 10 second delay, or immediate. Um, there's a key switch here to arm and disarm it. And there is a two color LED here for uh, various um, functions. Um, looking inside, um, there's a battery compartment, um, uh, just uh, two uh, AAA alkaline cells. And uh, opening up the actual box itself reveals um, a single sided um, um, PCB. Um, at the, the heart of it is this um, eight, it's an 8 pin IC, which I assume is um, an MCU of some sort, um, 8 bit or 4 bit. Um, Whatever it is, it's, it's a rather simple um, MCU, I think, because functions such as uh, the battery low sensing, uh, the timing, the timer delay, uh, they're all implemented with external components. Um, uh, premium MCUs from the likes of Microchip or Atmel would, would have uh, built-in timers and, and comparators to enable these functions to uh, be implemented on chip. Um, so... Um, yeah, so some of the functions we have, or some of the, the, the external components here, the, these two uh, NPN uh, transistors and resistors form a, a battery low sensing. Uh, so um, whenever the battery voltage drops below a certain threshold, uh, I think this pin here of the MCU is, um, goes high, I think, or maybe low, I can't, I can't remember. Um, this uh, capacitor here and uh, resistor, form a an RC timing circuit for the uh, to implement the um, the alarm delay um, so uh, there's not much on the other side of the board I had to remove I had to desolder this uh, the key switch here in order to to gain access to the under to the, to the other side of the board uh, so let's have a look uh, so the main thing of note here is uh, this uh, uh, transformer uh, which um, is uh, used to drive the uh, the piezo buzzer. The um, uh, if you were to drive the piezo directly from the uh, two and a half volts or so from the battery, uh, you wouldn't get a very loud, um, very loud alarm. So this uh, uh, amplifies the voltage um, and uh, gives you quite a a loud screeching alarm. Um, so I have. Uh, Reverse engineered most of the circuitry here. Um, so at the heart, as I said, was this is this eight pin, um, what I assume is an MCU. I have no idea. There's there's no markings on it whatsoever. Um, so we have uh, two pins for the LED. There's it's a green and red LED. Uh, so two separate pins for that. There's a battery low sensing uh, battery low sense. Uh, which is uh, some resistors and um, uh, transistors here. Um, uh, uh, the timer is implemented by an, an ORC, um, ORC um, circuit here. And um, we have a pull-up resistor here for the read switches. And the two re there's two switches on either side of the unit, um, depending on how you want to mount it, it's convenient to have a switch on either side and they're in parallel. And then we have the uh, a pin to drive the piezo buzzer. So uh, that's um, a low voltage which uh, activates a transistor uh, and then through a transformer uh, you get a high voltage. Uh, it's about I think 100 volts um, peak to peak when you look at it on, on a scope. Um, so, I was thinking, what can I do with this? Um, I mean, one idea I had was to remove the board altogether, uh, cut out the reed switches, and uh, maybe 
do something of uh, my own. Um, another idea which I think I'll try first is to um, is to remove the um, desolder out the um, MCU here, MCU here, and uh, uh, maybe dead bug my own um, MCU. I might use something like uh, a um, LPC eight one zero ARM Cortex M zero MCU, and uh, link up with with some um, um, wire up wire, and uh, maybe do something interesting with it. Yeah, it's a nice handy little box with a with a key switch. Uh, mind you, um, when I was desoldering this, um, I probably had the iron up a little bit too high, and. Uh, the key switch no longer works, which is a pity, but um, it's not that important. Um, so anyway, uh, I have a blog post on all this, uh, which I will link in the description of the video. And um, this is the schematic of the, um, the PCB. Again, I'll have that in the blog post.